As an administrator, I find um, LDS very helpful when I'm trying to research information about a student. Um, I've also found it very helpful, not necessarily at the, the level, the student level, but looking at it more globally as a school. Um, we, of course, look at our CRCT data from year to year, and we've had a big focus on our school moving students from the meeting to the exceeding category. And I love the charts and the graphics that I'm able to to produce and to print. You know, and to print um, makes for great communication with parents in the community. Um, so I look at it, I use it for the the whole school picture. Uh, and it's also very helpful when I'm trying to look at subgroups to see which subgroups are doing well on, on different parts of the CRCT. So I look at it, I probably use it more globally, and then if I need information about a specific student, I'll go to it. Um, the teachers, on the other hand, I think probably start poking around, looking at information about a particular student or group of students, and then they may kind of work you know, more to the class level. So I see it. You know, it has useful functions for both teachers and administrators. I was very excited about the opportunity to have everything in one place. You know, quite often when we're looking at test scores or we need to look at a student's attendance history or um, any data point, we had to go back to their permanent record. And a lot of times those were incomplete. Um, or if you had children that transferred from other schools within the district or even from outside of the district, it took a long time to track down that information. And um, I found it to be very helpful now looking at, at trends in student achievement. Um, but when I first saw it, I was just very excited to have kind of like a one-stop shop for information and data about students. I think probably the best thing about LDS currently is that it provides an immense amount of statistical information, solid data upon which we can make decisions regarding individual students not, uh, as well as classes. Uh, the LDS provides uh, not only the CRCT scores uh, overall and by domain, but it also provides reading scores uh, with some variations built in so that you can see progress. I like the idea of being able to see year-over-year -year progress or lack thereof. LDS is very helpful with differentiation of students, uh, especially, for instance, dealing with student weaknesses in particular domains. Uh, one student may need to be heavily instructed in a particular area uh, and just receive general instruction in, in other domains. For instance, in social studies, students have very little experience in economics, whereas they're familiar with geography and maps and, and those skills. And so students who are below average, we can work specifically with individual assignments to help bring them up. Uh, as a social studies teacher, if a child can't read, they cannot successfully complete the tasks. One of the standards that we use in seventh grade social studies uh, is to be able to explain the effects of gross domestic product on standard of living. Uh, it doesn't matter what reading level the child is at, they have to know that for the CRCT. And so Knowing the child's reading level, then I can select materials based upon that so that they can understand how gross domestic product affects standard of living. In a goal setting environment with LDS, um, I will allow the students to look at their CRCT scores from the previous year and set a goal of what, how many more points I would like to increase. And I'll talk to them about what's reasonable and what's not reasonable. And then we talk about well, what am I going to do to make sure that I reach this goal? What, what part do they have in it? And we'll talk about what's my part and we'll write that down. When my students realize that I understand um, their strengths and their weaknesses, they seem more comfortable and they seem to trust me more that um, I understand where they are and I'm, going, and I'm trying to help them and I'm trying to give them things that they need to get to the next point, wherever that may be. And they, they seem more um, comfortable with the math. They seem more willing and motivated to do it because they're not push further than they're able to do. I can just kind of build upon what they have. My gifted class gives me the hardest time with allowing me to push them further and making them think and making them come up with their own 
solutions and when they know that I, this is the expectation and I can verify this with test scores from five years back, there's, there's, there are no excuses. The, here's the expectation, this is what you're gonna do, that's it. I use, I use LDS to drive my instruction so that I know what my, what my students need. Um, it doesn't make any sense to teach something that they've already mastered and if I know that the majority of the class is struggling with this one concept then that's what I want to work on or that's what I want to place a lot of emphasis on. So um, it, it helps me, the system helps me see where I need to go throughout the year especially with the CICT scores at the beginning of the year. I know what is coming to me and I can prepare for my students. There are two things that I really like about LDS. Um, number one is to have my student CRCT scores readily available. Uh, the second thing would be those new resources, the digital resources, because I always look for a guide. I want to make sure that I'm teaching the right standards in the way that it's intended. And it's just one less thing I need to go looking for. It's right there, it's available, it's convenient. With parent conferences, one of the things that we have to acknowledge is we have a high mobility rate of students. Could it be from military mobility or socioeconomics? But what LDS is providing us is a, um, we don't have the lag time of records. We can get to them. And sometimes the parents aren't aware um, of the overall picture for their child. And so where you can turn the screen or you can have the snapshot and they can go, I get it now. I can see where the trend is. Because again, raw numbers mean nothing to people. The charts that are provided, the color codes of you know red, green, and gold, they go, oh, my child did really well on this. And then it occurs to them, there's no reason they shouldn't be doing well now. And that epiphany of, they can do it, but they're not. I'm taking away their cell phone. <laughs> you know, so that's very, very useful. And the students, it's most helpful for them at our level because it is, what do you need? Let's go to collegeboard.com and see what are the goals we have to set in terms of SAT or ACT. And so how can we use our own test data to drive up our college entrance scores, which is great. The Rises Academy, we try to always attract those young men outside of our attendance zone. And because we try to do that, uh, it's, it's, it's almost very, very crucial that we have the accurate data that we need. And because we have, that data has to be accurate because that's a, a, one of the precursors of being selected for the program. If a parent says that this child has been present and the, and the data says he's not, then we look at that child very carefully. Not only whether or not the, the data, I mean looking at the data says, should we take this young man or should we not? Should we, should we bring him in on a probationary period to see whether he would work? Because the first thing we want to do is we never want to bring in a young man who can't meet the rigors of what we're trying to do. And if you're not coming to school, you can't meet the rigor because you're going, you really would fall behind. Well, when I, const when I think about LDS, I, I, I look at the entire body because sometimes it's about the student. Sometimes it's about myself because I'm being held accountable for test scores. I'm, a, I'm, I'm being held accountable for attendance. So when I, when I want to find out whether my students are actually growing in my class from year to year, I can actually go into LDS and check and see how well I'm doing as well as how well my students are doing. So no, I, I, I like the whole system because it gives me a clear indication of not only just how, how well students perform, but how well I perform as well.